Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we move on once again with another big title fight on a night of huge title action. This for the IKF Southern Area Amateur Super Lightweight title. Over five two-minute rounds of action are sponsored by Trackwest. Would you welcome first into the blue corner, representing the Hastings Kickboxing Academy. to the red corner, representing Star Kickboxing, it's the Jamie Butcher, Jermaine Robinson! Representing the Hastings Kickboxing Academy, Dan Wright! And in the red corner, representing Star Kickboxing, it's the Jamie Dodger, Jamie Robinson! Five two-minute rounds for the title belt, as sponsored by Trackwest. There's a story behind this one for the IKF Southern Area Amateur Super Lightweight title. These two young men have fought twice before, both times over three rounds, and they've been absolute wars. They get on brilliantly together. They've got huge respect for each other, but once they're in those ropes, the fight's are insane. Now, the Jammy Dodger has won one, and they've drawn one, and finally, I've been saying these two need to do it over five rounds. Finally, they are for a title. And if it's anything like the last two fights, contender already for fight of the night between Dan Wright, Hastings Kickboxing Academy, and Jermaine, the Jammy Dodger Robinson from Star Kickboxing. And as I said, you won't meet two nicer young men outside of the ring, but once they're in here, the fights have been spectacular. Robinson looking to push right back into his own corner and throw the leather. Both men are all action fighters. Good round kick from Robinson. And a nice left hook lands cleanly. And again pushing right into the corner. And looking to fire away, keep the pressure there. Right looks to sweep, pushes him away. Early warning signs for the Hastings man as the Robinson left hand lands twice from that southpaw stance. Spins into the kick and then immediately comes again. Right looking for the uppercut as you saw, trying to give himself some room. Looks to turn his man and they break clean. Robinson from that southpaw stance. Right round kick from right. Round kick takes right off balance and Robinson comes in with a flying front kick. Doesn't quite land. Kick off the lead leg from right, spinning back fist attempt from Robinson, straight back on his man, trying to keep him under pressure. Right responds, here they go again. The touch gloves, right with the round kick, Robinson just out of range. Superman punch from right, now he looks to forge forward. Robinson smiles and evades the round kick. Left to the body of right, left roundhouse as well to the body, ducks under the response right at the bell. Very good opening round for me, just shaded by the red corner. But again, a high octane start from these two young men.
So two of five, and they go again the third time of asking for these young men, but this time with a title belt at stake. And nice movement again from the side of Robinson. Just misses with the spinning back fist. But what I like about Robinson, when he misses, he gets in tight to try and negate any retaliation. Nice movement, but the right roundhouse from right finally lands. And right looking to walk him down, takes a roundhouse to do it, then lands one of his own. Nice movement from Robinson. Misses with the front kick and punished by the roundhouse from Wright. Wright getting those legs going now to good effect. Robinson looking to close him down. Wright lands though with the left and right better from the Hastings man. Robinson looks for the left of the midsection. Front kick from Wright. Misses with the uppercut in reply. Better start from the blue corner here. Walking Robinson down. Looks for a nice right to the body. Doubles it up to the head. Robinson probing with the southpaw jab. Wright throws the right roundhouse. Robinson smiling. Wright totally focused. Robinson just misses with that southpaw left. And again, both men just out of range here. Right roundhouse from right. And the left lands. Was told to keep it up slightly. Nods to the referee. Pete Richardson, they touch gloves. And Robinson straight in on his man. From midsection again, right working him down once more. More urgency from the blue corner here in the second. And away they go once more. Robinson looking to force the issue now. And the interesting thing is here, both their wars have been over three rounds in the previous fight. This is five. I wonder if this will make a difference to either man. Trade punches again. Now for me. Another close round, but this time I felt Dan Wright brought it back round. I've got them going into the third, one apiece. Round three of five. On the previous two occasions, these men went absolutely ballistic in the third because it was the final round. Robinson starts fast, looks to back right up. Wright always likes to make room for that right uppercut. But Robinson pushing him back once more, looking to land that solid left hand. And he is getting through. Roughing him up on the inside there. Relentless in his approach. And again, looking to keep his man back there, clubbing rights and lefts, looking to push back his ropes. The rights and lefts spin right around. The front kick from right just misses the head of Robinson. And looks to turn. He looks to the referee right as well. The referee urging them both to work. Turns Robinson and just misses with the right roundhouse. Lands this time. The spinning back fist out of range from Robinson. The roundhouse lands. Robinson looking to tee up that left hand. Looks for the left uppercut, just misses and with the right and the following left. Right looks for the front push kick to keep his man away. Round kick from Robinson. Looks for the left hand in reply to the left leg of right. Looping left and right hands, miss from Robinson. Right looks for the right leg once more. Left leg to midsection from Robinson. Does so again. Looks for the spinning back fist, but out of range. Going to be warm for, I think, not only his timing, but his distancing. Yet when you're out of distance, there's a point down. This is a big decision against Jermaine Robinson, but where such a devastating technique if you're out of range the elbow can finish a fight so our referee is taking the point away because of the danger level of that technique if you miss and you're too close the forearm of the elbow smashes in it's a big blow now though for Jermaine Robinson I've got him behind now because of that how will he respond in round four or five four or five and Jermaine Robinson needs a big round after that point deduction. 
How will he respond? Oh, pushing forward once more. Heavy left and right. Possibly looking for a count on Dan Wright. Wright responds with the right uppercut and the right leg. Bites on his gum shield. Right probing jab from Robinson. Left leg roundhouse, right leg roundhouse. Right looks for the right to the body, little shovel punch and the uppercut. Robinson leaning in, looking to free space for his hooks. Sweep attempt from right, it's never going to work from that angle. Roundhouse to the midsection of Robinson. Robinson looks for the left of midsection, right responds. And a nice roundhouse from the blue corner. Does so again as Robinson comes forward, then the left. Starting to get the legs going in this round. Robinson comes back at him. Right roundhouse again, looking to stop Robinson in its tracks from right. Looks for the right uppercut. Robinson had the guard there, then looks to the right to the body. Robinson looks to turn his man. There they go once more. Again, the roundhouse beginning to work for right in this round. Robinson lands his own left roundhouse. That wasn't a sweep there. Pete Richardson will have a word of that. He went to sweep, but it was a low kick. But he's allowing Robinson to work. Robinson takes a short right, then a right uppercut from right as he comes forward. They tie up finally. Last 10 seconds of the fourth round. Front push kick from right, left hand from Robinson. Robinson looks for the uppercut, takes a short right, right on the bell. Short right, right on the bell from Robinson. And for me, Wright has just taken that with his kicking and that right uppercut on the end. Jermaine Robinson needs a huge, huge fifth round here. So fifth and final round and I've got Jermaine Robinson need to give me everything here if he's going to take this title. Dan Wright for me slowly clawing away the advantage with his legs and the little uppercuts on the inside. Robinson you can see looking for that big left hand. The right roundhouse lands from right but all it does is spur Robinson on. Frantic efforts now from the man in the red corner. Looking to beat down on his opponent, but they need space to land cleanly and hurtfully here. Left roundhouse from Robinson, but right moves with it. Right, the right roundhouse. Robinson closes him down immediately. Right uppercut from the right. To the right roundhouse on the end. Robinson slips as he throws the roundhouse up immediately. Away they go once more. Dan Wright looking for the big right hand, lands the uppercut, little right to the body afterwards. Robinson walks him down. Corner frantically telling their man to work right. As I said, this is the first time the two men have had to face each other over five rounds and a good finish there from Robinson. That right roundhouse for the first time from Dan Wright stopped Robinson in his tracks Jermaine Robinson felt that right roundhouse Carl Denny in Wright's corner knew it calling Dan Wright on neither man has looked particularly hurt across their three fights they're such tough customers but for the first time the right roundhouse at the end of this bout seemed to unsettle Jermaine Robinson he's back in the groove now though Dan Wright pushing forward once more. Right roundhouse at the bell, and for me, he brings the title with it as well in a 
cracking little bout between two men with such respect for each other in this their third bout. These two young men have met twice before and they have got nothing but mutual respect for each other. Two incredible warriors. But we do have a unanimous decision and the title belt goes around the waist of the man from the Blue Corner. 